What is the definition of gear? Gear is a mechanical device which is used for transmit power from one shape to another shape. Now where we can use gear drive? We can use gear drive to we can use gear drive in small distance like very close distance uh, and like this is one shift and another shift they are this distance is very small so then we can use gear gear drive okay for small distance we can use gear if you use pulley in small distance then pulley is decrease efficiency and um, uh, vibration vibration loss are created so for small distance we can use gear and for speed control we can use gear mm, to reduce loss and vibration we use gear to increase efficiency of the machine parts to transmit power we can use gear so these are the uses of gear so this is driver gear and this is driving gear okay this is driver gear and this is also driving gear if the this is shaft shaft a says shaft a and this is says shaft b if the diameter of the shaft a um, if the diameter of the gear of shaft a is increases and the diameter of the shaft b so this is called driver gear and this is called drive in gear if the diameter of drive in driver gear is increases and drive in gear is small compared to driver gear and then the speed will be increases if the driver gear diameter is decreases compared to drive in gear then the speed will be decreases now i can now i can explain types of gear so first we can write spar gear this is one type of gear in which parallel shaft is used okay this is one type of gear in which parallel shaft is used so now we can draw you can see also this is so i can uh, you can see also this is one type of swarga this is shaft axis and this is gear axis and gear axis and shaft axis are parallel mm, this type of gear is called spar gear so what is the benefit of spar gear mm, gear teeth are parallel and gear axis also parallel these are the benefit of spar gear the advantage is if axial forces are applied then it does not use okay so it's benefit is you 
You can also use gear, teeth, and gear axes are parallel. Or parallel. It's um, disadvantages. This add burn page. Mm. If axial axial force means um, force ax force acting axially. This call axial force. This call axial force. This is also axial force axial force then it does not use if axial force forces is used yeah. if axial forces is applied then it does not use does not used another type of gear is helical gear helical gear so um, it is another type of gear uh, different to spar gear to its tooth uh, its tooths are different compared to spar gear okay mm. and its gear teeth and axis makes an angle uh, in this type of gear gear teeth and axis make an angle now i will draw the picture you can see So it's called helix angle. Helix angle. Okay. <laughs> helix angle get to the axis. So this is the shaft axis and this is get tooth. And it makes an angle. And the tooths are not parallel to the axis. Tooths are not parallel to the axis and it makes an angle. Uh, so what are the benefit of this gear advantage if axial load is used then we used helical gear not spar gear okay if axial load is used then we use illegal gun okay so um, its disadvantage is no disadvantage use of helical gear use it's used for medium medium load medium load and spar gear is used for low load okay. helical gear used for medium load and spar gear used for low load okay now No, another number of gear is double helical gear. Yeah. 
double helical gear so double helical when many directional force applied then we use double helical gear like radial load load and axial thrust this type of force okay uh, then we can use double helical gear so uh, now we can draw the picture so now i will draw the picture and you can see this is a picture okay so this and this so this is called have double helical gear one side helical gear and another side helical gear so double helical gear okay when radial load and axial thrust is applied then it's used <laughs> now another type of gear is bevel gear bevel gear so when unparallel and intersecting axes are when when the two gear axis is unparallel and unintersecting then this type of gear used so for used for un parallel and used for parallel and inter sectin axis now we can draw the bevel gear sorry So axes are intersecting you can see you can see in axes are intersecting and the gears are unparalleled so then we can use bevel gear mm, and its outer circle is outer circle is larger than mm, that means the thickness is not uniform uh, the in this gear outer circle and outer circle radius is in this type of gear outer circle radius is large and um, that means the thickness is not uniform advantage of bevel gear bevel gear used for heavy loading advantage is it's used for heavy loading okay so and um, so it's used also differential another type of gear is arm and worm wheel Uh, 
uh, when two gears are unparallel and are intersecting then it's used like it's warm you can draw it's uh, one type of gear Blah, blah, blah. So this call warm and it's called warm wheel. For unparallel, and an intersecting axis it is used for unparalleled and unintersecting axis 